Have your OBJ and texture files ready. Textures must be in DDS format for this tutorial. The programs shown are also needed. A link for each app can be found in the description. Open Outfit Studio and import your model OBJ file. Your model should have no image printed on every piece. This means its UVs are ready for textures to be applied. When UVs are complete, export your model as a NIF file. We'll need two NIFs from Skyrim. Use Bethesda Archive Extractor and locate wolfpelt.nif. Extract it to anywhere on your computer. Now we'll create some directories and copy the Wolfpelt NIF to its mesh folder. Create a folder called Clutter in the Data Meshes folder. We're using the Wolfpelt NIF paths. Create another folder inside Clutter and name it Wolfpelts. Now place the Wolfpelt file that we extracted earlier here. Also, place your model's new NIF here. Let's do the same thing again for data textures and place our DDS textures here. Now we need to use Bethesda Archive Extractor once more to get a collision reference model. Locate barrel01.nif and extract it to your desktop. Time to use NIFScope to create a NIF that can be used in Skyrim. We're going to copy our model to an existing NIF, so we'll need two windows open. First, open the Wolfpelt NIF file that we placed into the data folder. It's normal if the mesh is pink. It just means there are not any textures available or the texture setting for NIFScope is not set. Now let's open our model NIF file that we placed into the data folder. The model transform may not look right. We'll fix this in a bit. If your texture settings are not set, let's go ahead and set them up. Open settings from the options menu. Select Resources and add your Skyrim data folder to the Paths tab. Let's now copy our model NIF over into the Wolfpelt NIF. To do this, click on your model to select its BS Tri Shape. Now, right click its BS Tri Shape and select Copy Branch. Right-click the Wolfpelt Parent node and select Paste Branch. Your model's BS Tri Shape should now be inside the Wolfpelt Parent node. If you have more than one object in your model NIF file, just repeat the copying process until all BS Tri Shapes are inside the new parent node. Your original model NIF is no longer needed now. Close it and expand the Wolfpelt NIF window.
Now let's start stripping out the old NIF information and replace it. First, select the parent node, and then change the name value below it to the index of the first BS tri shape you added. Your new indexes can be found inside the children list. We're going to add new collision in a bit, so let's remove the collision branch. Let's also remove the original Wolf Pelt BS Tri Shape branch. Now we're going to correct the position of the mesh by editing its transform. To do this, right click the mesh, select Transform, and then Edit. This mesh's transform is now set. Click Accept to apply any changes. Let's apply textures. Repeat this process for each BS Tri Shape you added. First, select a BS Tri Shape's BS Shader Texture Asset block to open its texture array at the bottom. Now, type in the first two entries using the data paths we created earlier to our DDS textures. Our new model NIF is almost ready. We now need to overwrite the original NIF that we placed into the data meshes folder with this new NIF. Use save as, rename it from wolfpelt.nif, and overwrite your older model NIF file. After the file is saved, you can close NIF scope. Delete the old Wolfpelt file from your data meshes folder. We're going to create collision now. First, create a folder on your desktop and name it Optimize. Add a copy of your new NIF file to this folder and make a second copy of it. Now open SSE NIF Optimizer, browse to select the folder, and select the LE option. Click Optimize when ready. Now open Chunk Merger and populate its file fields using your newly optimized NIF files and the barrel NIF we copied earlier. Click Convert when ready. Let's optimize the NIFs once more using SSE NIF Optimizer. Only this time, select SSE before clicking Optimize. Copy your newly optimized NIF back into the Data Meshes folder. Let's now bring the new NIF into Skyrim. Open Creation Kit and create a new save. Duplicate the Werewolf Pelt static item. Rename the duplicated item and press Edit next to the model field. Press Edit again in Model Data and add the new NIF file. Your new model should show up now. That's it. Your model is now ready to use inside of Skyrim. Place it into the world, save the mod, and play it. Now where did that Argonian run off to with me ale?